and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing a little bit of Nut ADC. I've just barely gotten to play her so far. Um, the little bit I've gotten to play, I think I brought it up in one of the recent videos. The little bit that I've played, I've been feeling like uh, she doesn't really seem to take a whole lot of thought for, for an ADC. I feel like most ADCs require a decent bit. She might require like some of the least. Um, honestly, Freya's probably up there with, with matching. Oh God, they had some clear. All right, Rama Aries, I get it, I get it. That's fair. They might goof a little here. Oh, I thought I could maybe root both. <laughs> like, he had a little backstep on me, but like the backstep basically just, he like rooted himself for it. That was kind of funny. I don't think I quite get a push up far enough to archers there. I think I troll myself taking too much damage from Ares. Okay, he rolls that. We got a gank incoming. This actually might get really good with the roll down, although he revealed himself. He did the uh, little two. We go burr. Got big damage there. This might turn into a kill in a sec. No, he ran too far. Holy shit, Rama getting in there, man. My god. I want to peel what I can, but I can't really peel. Okay, we did go burr. There's going to be a lot of going burr on this god. Tell me this reaches. It does. Oh, it does. Oh. <laughs> I probably should have stopped autoing after he was out of range, man. I really thought he'd be in range to begin with. And then I kept just like hoping that somehow it was just me missing and not him simply being out of range, you know? I was like, no, no, no. Surely we make this a triple kill. You're telling me he gets a good beads? That's fucked up. He's kind of eating it right here. Yeah, you better start rolling, bud. It keeps throwing me. I have to like double right click. I feel like I shouldn't have to, but I have to double right click to cancel the one either always or at least sometimes. I don't know if it's a ping thing or or if you really just have to. I kind of want to science it here on the wave. Okay, I am full, so I'll let him have that, although he didn't take it. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I hold, I held left click there. I spammed right click and didn't go off. I think I got to spam right click harder. I think I got three right clicks in before the wave died and it never wanted to cancel. I don't know what that is. There's, there's a little bit of clunk to her kit, in my opinion. I feel like it feels pretty intuitive, generally speaking, but there's a few... Maybe it's all having to do with the one things. Or I've been like, why does it work this way? Or it's like, I, I actually feel like it's a little bit just spaghetti code. Okay, we're doing decent damage. I keep having stuff with her where, like, I miss the two and the tremble doesn't even go off, and it really throws me where the root feels pretty standard for any type of like kind of AOE ability like this. It kind of lands about the way you'd expect. Yeah, like right there that doesn't hit Rama. What is the timing happening on like the spread for Rama to not get hit, you know? That throws me off sometimes too. Like the root makes sense. Like when it lands kind of, you know, a lot of different abilities would land on similar timing. Like right there, it barely missed. So we got the tremble instead. Okay, I think, yeah, we'll do a little dip here. So I don't know how much I should talk about the kit. Um, I feel like a lot of it's fairly obvious, but for anybody out of the loop, um, she's kind of a weirdo where it seems like almost definitely you want to be building her ability based, I think. I think there's a little wiggle room in there, but basically, God, that is so little, uh, <laughs> it's so little extra there. But basically with her one, you're reducing your own auto damage. You're piercing minions similar to like a Rama one or an Iza, Iza auto, but then you're also getting these little side shots that do bonus damage, kind of like Ishtar's shotgun. Uh, but like a lot more extreme and, you know, more so hitting hitting down lane versus up close and then spreading out, you know, kind of an opposite shape. I've been maxing it. I don't know for sure if you actually should. This might go absolutely crazy or it might die. I have no mana. Okay, so far so good. We do have the one back up. I guess we'll just go burr. Nice. I think we golden sharded in there. Is that what it's called? I wanted to kill Set. I'm sad we didn't get to, although they might clean him up. Nice. Apparently we got gold too. <laughs> the Geb Nut combo. Yeah. <laughs> the Geb Nut combo is wild right there. That is absolutely disgusting. We're getting Geb ult into, uh, into nut ult for massive damage and massive CC and given beads can exist. 
But like, even if they beads, if they're trying to go on either of us there, I'm going into the air. Geb's kind of staying in place. We should still be getting crazy damage out of it. That is nutty, man. And I'm not saying nutty because we're nut. Also, I should probably mention, yeah, I'm aware that her name is Newt, I believe. Well, obviously, I'm not calling her that. It's not that there's something wrong with the name Newt. It's that there's something wrong with not saying nut when it's spelled nut. You know? Obviously, I'm going to take my chance. I've been waiting years. So, we're going Transcendence. I don't know if... Why did he go mid? <laughs> he was just... <laughs> Rama went mid, man. He contested purple, like little baby purple, whatever you want to call that. Uh, he's a weirdo. I, I didn't expect that in, in any world. That's a call that I would never make in my lifetime. Eh, I don't really get to do more. God, he is tanky. Do I just not do damage? Maybe I just don't do damage. One thing I still haven't tested yet. Um, I don't know if like high res has commented on it or what. I swear, like, unless I'm losing my mind, her one auto is a lot faster than her normal autos, right? I don't know if it autos on its own timing or if it actually still gets increased to the tank speed. Damn. I was hoping that he'd uh, ult a little bit slower there and we'd get a suck, but honestly, I think basically I just shouldn't have tried it. <laughs> I thought he, I didn't think he'd go for the crazy fast snipes. I thought he'd hold it a little because I went into the air. He just didn't care. But then also, I think, like, even if uh, even if it lands, I don't actually have the follow-up I thought I'd have. I thought we'd have Juicy One ready to go, and I didn't. Yeah, anyways, anyways. Our one capable of doing a lot, but we kind of want to build it ability-based, but we kind of don't want to build it ability-based. Because the funky thing with it is that we're getting item procs off of the side autos, since those are ability-based and our main autos stay basically normal autos, but nerfed. But... Because we're spamming that, we shouldn't be able to proc items all that well. We should just get the initial proc and then simmer it down with the way that item procs currently work right now for, for ability base. Like Bluestone nerfs itself. Crusher nerfs itself. Heartseeker basically gets less value. It doesn't nerf itself, but like it stops doing quite as much, uh, which that's more more valid. Like, Let me see if I can find an example in a sec here that I can actually show. Because it's not like, normally we're not getting such an extreme showcase of how much these items interfere with each other. Like, you could see for a little second there, I was getting bluestone procs of 20, and like, the moment I followed it up... Oh, maybe that's a golden shard proc of 20. The, that it went down. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, too, with a golden shard. Maybe I just finally got one instance of bluestone. Sir? I'm trying to science here. Yeah, so you guys can see for a second there, I think we got a seven out of blue stone. Okay, he's winning that pretty hard. We do get follow up in a sec. Let's see what we can get away with here. I've got ult, I'm assuming he has ult. You know, we kind of went up at the same time. Do we just not get to do anything? It's okay if we don't. But yeah, I think for a second we'd had like an 8 or a 9 proc on Bluestone, and the instant we follow it up with another hit of the 1, we're getting it down to a 4 proc. So that's going to apply as well for, uh, and that's like the same, it's the same instance of Bluestone, it's just going down. I'm just backing so we can just have it. Although, do I back? Oh shit, he didn't, he didn't back. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Maybe? I mostly just don't want to be dying here, I'm so low. See if he'll look for a little gank. I'm assuming Rama doesn't think I'm here. I don't know why he would. Okay, well, I don't think we're doing anything here. That's too bad. I also kind of zoned Skipper from that. I wasn't thinking about it. He went so far up the tower that I sort of yoinked the farm. Which was not intentional and was rude. But again, you know, if it's not intentional, maybe not so bad. Is that really, is that her line at now you see me and then it's like now you still see me and the joke is that her three sucks? If, if so, that's kind of a good joke, Hi-Rez. Not bad. One of the, one of their betters, I think, because uh, because her three does suck. It does feel pretty bad. I don't know if it matters that it sucks. I don't feel like it's a ability that feels like, oh my god, why is it in the game it's so bad? It just, I think it's overall kind of low impact. Doesn't do a ton. The two and the one are definitely the ones you rely on more. And the ult, the ult's pretty... Pretty, again, I'm gonna say nutty sometimes. It's just because I say it. I'm not that desperate for for the pun or whatever. But yeah, we're gonna go trans. I don't know if it's actually worth going trans. Just kind of building a ton of power so we can make the one hit harder is the idea. Um, cooldown as well feels pretty decent on her. I don't think it's really something that's like super important in my in my very limited experience with her. 
Like, I don't think it's something that you should specifically be focusing for the sake of cooldown, but I do think Power Pen, because it's amplifying her one damage, and that's kind of her main thing as a character, does make a lot of sense. All right, let's see what Rama wants to do here. In a way, I think his build's stronger at the moment, because he's got the, uh, the Claw. Okay, so that's sort of coming over, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Let's see if he ults that. He does ult it. Oh, he had a really good ult. Credit where it's due, man. He's actually, he's landing some shots right now. Hit all of those, right? Yeah, he did. Did a lot of damage. Yeah, he's got a really strong counter to my ult, just being able to go up in the air. Because his is, uh, like mine is just going to be one big landing, because he's got a lot more freedom over. So inherently, ult traits are basically bad for us. So we got to keep that in mind. There, I was healthy enough. It didn't matter. It just kind of made sense to ult. Don't think I get to do this, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, he might be dead. No, Seth's gonna set me. But Seth should be dead. <laughs> we actually might get a kill in a sec. <laughs> oh, he beads. We got an Arthur here. Arthur might gonna do something. I just get a farm. That was well played by Skipper, man. Oh my god. Don't do it. Thank you. Imagine I get meteored out of my bank right there. All right, Aegis should be nice. <laughs> Why is that the... Now you see me. Why is that the line? I feel like there's no way it's actually... There's no way it's the joke that I feel like could be a joke. There's no way it's that. I do want to try, like, some sort of crit Hydra's build or something at some point on her. Like, more of an auto-attack build. Because I could see Kinsai's feeling feeling pretty nutty. Like, I could see going a little bit auto and feeling it feeling like it's kind of good. By the way, I don't actually have to turn like that. Ow! I think, uh... I feel like I, I could just be, like, maybe I'm just not landing stuff well enough. I think we do just simply get out-traded by Rama. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Very much as a character, what we're doing is, um... We're getting really good AoE value in like the late game. I'm very much just an overall damage stat menace. So in lane against somebody that's building lifesteal and high attack speed and stuff, we're, we're gonna tend to get out traded, I think. Okay, I still have ult, so we're kind of chilling. Look for the setup here in a sec. Try and just Aegis what damage we can before we get a big ult. Should be a pretty big ult. Nice. The girl was feeling it. Wanted me bad. We didn't really need Aegis. I just kind of thought, like, it wasn't, like, a super important Aegis. I just thought, you know, we're probably going to be fighting this, so let's not eat, like, 400 damage that we can avoid. God, actually, we go Brawlers here, huh? Brawlers should be kind of gross. I don't think I've had a game so far where I felt like Brawlers was important, but, you know, Afro set will, <laughs> will do it. We'll definitely do it. It's funny, I don't know how much there is to talk about with their kit. Like, I can just kind of read the abilities for anybody uninformed. I don't really feel like doing that. I don't want to make this like an A to Z. And I don't know the god well enough to really just like be a guide. I just kind of, you know, I know Smite, but <laughs> I don't really know the god that well. So I'm not going to like say a bunch of big tech or anything for her. I don't know that much. I've played her twice. I think it's only been choice. Bing! I see and know all. Yeah, that one ward. That's what did it. You see and know all. All right, I think we just farm up a little bit for brawlers and dip. What are we doing, Rama? What are we doing with that big shield? Yeah, like the fact that that doesn't land is so bizarre. Not that the root doesn't land, but that I missed the root by like five units. He just simply walked in a line and the tremble never catches up. And there it does, because he, like, it just, it's that slow, because he didn't really try and juke it. He slowly paced out of it. Bizarre, man. Such, such weird timing for that ability that it, like, pulses out that slow. I gotta, like, uh, I gotta spend more time on the one sometimes. When I'm playing her. Not just, not just keep going burr, but, like, wait a little bit for better, better timing. Bro, he wants to trade so bad. He's so thirsty for the fights. There we go. We actually got a burr a little bit there. Although a lot of that was just backpedal value. 
But the issue we're going to have, if we actually continue to fight, I'm mostly only even fighting him right now just so I can, like, learn the god more. But if we continue to fight, he's going to look for a little something. Yeah, I'm kind of just going to play a defensive. Um, we also just happen to have Skipper coming over now, though. But he's going to have that sustain value. Bro, oh my god. When I right-click the one, I want it to cancel. I don't know what I have to... Like, do I need a secret bind, man? I button mash that thing and it doesn't stop. Let me keep my one. Hang on, I'm gonna do this one for, for science in just a sec. Just do a little bit of science real quick. Actually, I need to auto a little bit for it first. Hang on. Okay, single auto. Oh, okay, that one went fast. I just gotta make sure I stop clicking. It's gotta be something about the laugh clicking to begin with that it doesn't like one bit. Oh, he's feeling it. I don't think he gets to feel it. <laughs> I'm trying to not ult just since he can ult over it. There we go. Then you should just die to them. Guys? Guys? Right? <laughs> Is he actually getting out? Oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah, there's not much I gotta do to actually... Like, when he's got the, uh, when he can cancel that whenever the hell he wants, and then just dash, like, pretty much to the edge of the ult. Not a whole lot of control we actually get to have over it. But I figured they'd just simply stick to him when he, like, insta-dash beads his, and then is just vulnerable. I'll be seeing ya. Alright, I think we go probably Crusher just for the attack speed. Rather than, uh, rather than Heartseeker first. Either way, we'll have room for both. Should be good. They might be at gold. I don't know if they go mid or gold here. Something to keep an eye on. Your team has I want the late game in. I feel like she's kind of boring to play in lane. Oh god. This isn't a fight I want. Apparently it's not a fight he wants. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely I'm definitely trying to silence whatever or not not silence, trying to science whatever I just hold down the one right now. It's definitely that for some reason holding it down doesn't let me cancel it. Which is terrible. I don't know who the hell designed that. They need to not do that. Such a dumb way to have it set up, but whatever. Whatever, I'll learn. Alright, you wanna fight again, man? Do a little brawling. He's been loving the brawls. We just gonna auto this down, get baby farm. Okay, we do have a little bit to work with. We are going Burr. Do I get the two in time? No. Because if I ult him, he just ults again. So, like, I legit, I, I don't get to do it. I think Skipper kills him, though. He might not, I don't know. I might also, I, I might die to gank. <laughs> I might get too greedy going for farm here. Yep, there's an Ares. Oh. Hang on, hang on. We can actually help him. Everybody else is distracted. Or we do a purple buff? Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Give me that. They stole mine, so like obviously I gotta go for this. I can't just allow that. It's interesting how um like maybe it's kind of just a build diff in terms of the way that he's building himself. Because he's really punished himself going that that early rage. Or like Crimson Claw is super strong. Um if he went the given like it's greedy, but if he went my triple lifesteal build, I think he'd be kind of dumpstring me right now. But it's it's interesting that I feel like in my experience. Like, the items don't feel all that great on Nut. She just kind of does her thing. But it seems like as we get deeper and deeper into this game, maybe it's just a farm div. It feels like it's easier and easier to trade the Rama. Like, we had a little stage in the mid game. I don't know, I guess that makes sense. Because Rama's levels don't do much for him. You max arrows. You get Crimson Claws, which is super strong early game. Then he's kind of a menace. And then his two getting max doesn't do a lot. His three does almost nothing. All of my abilities continue to scale. That's probably all it is. Probably just the levels matter more on us than they do for him. Come here. Get bopped. It's kind of cool, though. It's nice. It's actually, like, an interesting matchup to see. Because we're getting, like, that Rama Izanami type, like, fight through the wave character. Or, like, a Charybdis or something. And I'm getting to see how our one matches up. And it matches up pretty well, man. We're actually getting pretty good trades into his arrows. Uh 
Uh, maybe goofing? We get a rotation here, but we also get ganked from underneath. It's too bad. I was hoping we'd be able to, uh, to catch him a little sooner there. Do I go burr? Fine, we can go on Afro. Or we can go on... <laughs> what are we going to go on? If I ult her, she should just ult out, so I don't want to waste it. I want to hold it for a better spot. Oh, this should be good. Oh, this should be good. Yeah, that's what I mean. We wait out their stuff, and then we dumpster. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, I will say... I don't think I'm the best with, like, her core kit. I think I'm alright with it. But, oh my god, I think I'm clean with the ult. Because I've played... Not, not as much lately, but I used to play a lot of gods like this. A lot of those kind of follow-up AoE teamfight ult gods. Like Hunbots. Hunbots is a great example. I used to love Hunbots. So I'm pretty used to playing around, like, relics and stuff like that. And that's a lot of what she does. At least for the ultimate. God, how much damage did it do there, too? I can't really see that much. It looks like it did 400 to set. But the big thing is just <laughs> they use their immunes and then we just straight up follow it up and get giant suck, man. Get giant Atlas 1-2 combo. Don't do it, please! Oh, that's rude. It's really not a fight that I want to be taking just since we actually can get rotated on. Ooh. Wait, is this ours? Oh, hold up! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait just a minute, Rama, step up. Rama, where are you at, man? Oh, he's coming. He's following right now. Let me act let me act like I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna get ganked. Oh, he went back? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I saw him on the map for a second. I thought he'd keep it going. Yeah, I can get a little greedy here. We might die to a gank though. Does he know? He's acting like he knows. I think they ward I think they warded this, and now he's staring at me. Unlucky. I even went the greedy red pot just to help me dumpster for a second. It's okay, we still have four minutes of it. Might still do something. Yeah, this guy, scared of the 1v1, huh? That's valid. It's pretty valid in general, but especially when we're like multiple levels up, and I'm assuming a stupid amount of money up. That will kind of do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm up a lot of money. If we ever get in a trade where I don't have my one, like, prepped it all for it, and I get caught out, I'm assuming I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, I think I just TP left here. We can maybe do fire. Oh, hi. Okay. I think he's dead. <laughs> oh, God! Rama's coming. Nah, that's not happening. I could have gone for Wiggles, but no way am I risking my life for that, man. No way am I risking dying to that. To Poor set. That was pretty gross. Yeah, I'm sure you like, this guy's actually got some farm. We're ahead in money. I didn't spend all of it yet, though. He's got a weirdo build, though. <laughs> Ironically, a decent build for that trade, but a weirdo build. Um, His not sold shard. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, being able to 1v1 to settle in melee range, just on the teleporter, that's kind of crazy. By the way, I haven't I haven't specifically brought it up. Highly recommend, um, when you're not trying to buy time, I think the instant up-down on Nuddle, very, very strong. If you're comfortable just kind of quickly firing, it's a massive AoE, just kind of chucking in the vicinity. I think that gets ridiculous value. Nice. Can maybe go for an ult here in a sec. Oh, well, that's not where she went at all. Yeah, I'm dead here. And we don't kill Afro? Yes. <laughs> Very ironic timing there that I'm, I'm like, I really like these instant ults. Immediately assume she goes back and she runs straight forward. <laughs> the blend. I can't tell. I, I didn't pay enough attention. Did Set actually not care or is he actually blind, man? What was that? Afro knew. Oh no, not like this. <laughs> not like this. Bro, you think you beat the earth? 
He thinks he kills the Earth? Okay, wait. Wait a minute. Alright, I don't know that- I'm not familiar with Ramalore. I think Rama might be a broken god. Might be a lore-broken character. Just destroyed the Earth. Like it's some doom shit. Man, my stupid red pot is losing me a heart seeker right now, and I don't like it one bit. It's okay, we can go yoink a speed buff. I'm sure the jungler won't care. By the way, shoutouts to uh to Bundo. I had I had the jungle roll this game and I didn't want it. And so I asked Bungo Go Jung <laughs> Bungo Go Jungo. It's harder to say it out loud than it is to type it. And it worked, man! He like turned down one trade, and then I hit him with the Bungo Go Jungo. And he was like, all right, Bungo's going to go Jungo. A enemy tower. It's amazing, man. The power of communication, if, if you can call it that. Probably can't. Sometimes the situation all right, I think, okay, they are going for fire maybe here. But I think we greed and base for Red Pot. Should be juicy. Be in the right hold up, hold up. How much pen do I have with Red Pot? Only 35, huh? This is still pretty good. 35 flat, 30%. Not too bad. Okay, what if we just do it? Hmm, what about that? One thing I barely touched on, by the way, I haven't actually built this yet. I'm assuming kin size is really good on her. I'm assuming there's definitely plenty of potential for like a kind of a hybrid build. I wanted to get like a nice three lined up there so we could actually get out of Gilgold. And honestly, I should have just clicked on his head. Oh, their team is so split here. Why are they so split, man? Okay, we're gonna wait and go Burr. We're going Burr, we're going Burr. Nice. Hopefully we get a big ult here. Oh, that should be pretty good. Okay, that was really clean on Rama's part. I'm not going to lie. But I also think he's dead. <laughs> that was a little dirty, man. Tell me there's not a set. Tell me there is no set anywhere to be found. I'm going to greed this. I'm going to have my three ready. Try it. Just you try it. So far, he doesn't seem to want to try it. Okay, do we greed end or do we dip? What are we feeling, boys? Oh, he's feeling it. I trust Skipper with my life. Also, Set might have just simply ended. Another thing I never finished touching on, I don't think, is uh, I know you can do like the Rama roll thing where you can just aim your WASD in a certain direction. I don't know why, but I haven't played a character like that in so long that I hate it. So I keep turning my mouse because it's easier for me. Which I know is kind of dumb, but it is what it is, man. That was a fun game. That was actually, that was really solid. I've had a couple of nut games now where it kind of just felt like massive matchmaking diff. This one way less felt like that. And I still felt like I got a dumpster, which was super satisfying. Um, Yeah, she's a weird god. Like in a way I like her, in a way I don't. Because I feel like there's not a whole lot of mechanical thought going into her of when I do what. But... Um, it's still kind of fun, because what she is, is she's a very positional ADC damage dealer. Um, that I still think is more interesting than somebody like AMC. She honestly reminds me a lot of, like, an ADC take on Zeus. So, in that sense, she's kind of cool. Where, like, you're just kind of playing with your with your positioning a lot. And there's a lot of, like, tanks that I play that way. Whereas normally I don't want to play ADCs that way, because you tend to feed on them. Not it's easier to not feed on. But, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to write my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down